Hey Techies, welcome back to Tech World with Preet. If you're preparing for interviews in the AI space, especially for roles involving generative AI, this video is a must watch. I am sharing the top 10 most commonly asked generative AI interview questions with clear and concise answers, perfect for both beginners and experienced professionals. Let us begin. The first question is, what is generative AI? Generative AI is a type of AI that creates new data like text, images, music or even code based on patterns it learned during training. Unlike traditional AI, which predicts or classifies, generative AI actually generates new data. Popular examples include ChatGPT, DLE or GitHub Copilot. The next question is how GPT works. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. It uses transformer architecture and self-attention to understand context and relationships in text. It is pre-trained on large copa and then fine-tuned to perform specific tasks like summarization, cue and answers or conversation. The next question, what are applications of generative AI? Generative AI is transforming industries. Generative AI is used in chatbots and digital assistants, marketing content creation, report and email generation legal or financial document, summarization, image and video generation, code completion with tools like GitHub Copilot. What is RASIC? Retrieval Augmented Generation RASI combines a retriever like a vector database with a generator like GPT. It fetches relevant documents based on a user query and feeds them to the model to produce grounded fact-based responses. It's essential in enterprise use cases to avoid hallucinations. How do you evaluate generative AI outputs? For text, use PLU, Rouge or Meteor scores. For images, FIDE and Inception score are common, but human evaluations like coherence, factual accuracy and relevance are often more important. The next question is, what are key challenges in deploying generated AI? The first one is hallucinations. The model generates false information, then prompt sensitivity. Small changes in prompts give different results. Next is bias reflects social and dataset biases and privacy risks of data leakage, if trained improperly. Also cost, running large models in production is expensive. Next question, how do you fine tune or adapt a generate AI model? You can fine tune with domain specific data, use prompt engineering for control apply LoRa or CoLoRa for efficient tuning. Use retrieval, augmented generation to add external knowledge without retraining. What is agentic AI and how does it relate to generative AI? Agentic AI involves multiple agents, planner, retriever, generator working together to accomplish complex tasks. With tools like Autogen, each agent has a role, planning, executing, or refining responses, enabling powerful AI workflows like financial advising or automated research. Next question is, how do you reduce hallucinations in generate AI systems? You can use retrieval augmented generation to ground responses in real data or fine-tune the model on verified content. Also, you can apply content moderation and validation layers and implement human-in-the-loop review systems. You can also use tools like guardrails, AI, or Langchain guards. And the last question is, what are the popular tools and libraries in the generative AI ecosystem? Large language models like OpenAI GPT, Claude, Gemini, LAMA, etc. can be used frameworks like Langchain. Layame Index, Autogen, can be used popular vector DBs, Chroma DB, Pinecone, Wavy8, FAISS, and many more, and for fine-tuning, QLORA, and PEFT can be used for Model Hub. Hugging Face can be used. Thanks for watching.
These questions cover the core of what you need to know for generative AI interviews. If you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Tech World with Preet. And comment below if you'd like a part 2 with advanced or hands-on coding questions. Catch you in the next one. Keep learning, keep growing.